Hi builders, are you truly hearing what your customers are saying? I mean really hearing them, not just the words, but how they're saying those words too. When dealing with audio feedback, understanding sentiment is only part of the picture. How customers express themselves, their tone, emotion, and delivery carries just as much valuable information. Today, I'm excited to share a powerful technique to extract deeper insights from your customer feedback. We'll combine multiple tools to analyze both what the customers are saying and how they're saying it too. Let's break down what we're building. We'll use notebooks on container runtime to access open source hugging face models to analyze customer tonality to understand emotional context. We'll process transcriptions via Whisper to capture the spoken context. Then we'll use Cortex for sentiment analysis. This comprehensive approach ensures you get the full picture of customer feedback, both content and delivery. Go ahead and follow the links below to the quick start. There you'll find a setup that's SQL as well as a Python notebook to upload. From here, we're gonna go ahead and set up our environment. We'll need a couple libraries so that way we can go ahead and find our learnings from our audio files. And because we are using notebooks on container services, we can go ahead and install any packages that we need. There we go, we went ahead and did that. For us, we're all going to use Torch, Torch Audio for the audio processing then Librosa for loading and manipulating the audio files. And then finally, we are going to use transformers, so that way we can go ahead and utilize those Hugging Face pre-trained models. We're gonna set up some environment variables. And this is where we process our files. So you should see our two pipelines. One is the emotion classification that we're going to do on the audio files themselves. And then we're gonna use Whisper to get the transcriptions. And we'll use those transcriptions against Cortex sentiment analysis to get a reading off that. Here, we're gonna go ahead and go through every single file and put them in the pipelines. Then we're gonna provide some labels to them and then bring it all together. And let me tell you how to read this output. Let's go ahead and look at the names of the files. You should see negative, 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 positive, 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 and positive, negative. How to read that is the first negative represents the sentiment, and the second negative represents the angry, and so on. Now that we understand the naming schema of the files, let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into it. So the first one is negative negative, and then the emotions that we got was angry, and the sentiment was negative. So in that scenario, we had someone that was really upset with their service, and I didn't like it. Please give me a refund. And then in the next one was negative positive, the person was happy, but the sentiment was negative. The scenario would have been what they said was negative, but the emotion they portrayed was happy. In that scenario, it might come out like, Oh, this service was so bad. I'm never coming here back again. As you can tell, like I'm saying something very negative in the context, but the tone of my voice sounds a little bit happier, a little different than what I'm actually saying. And that's the learnings we can get. We want to make sure that what we're understanding in terms of the sentiment of what they're saying matches how they're saying it. This approach helps you identify customer pain points more accurately, detect subtle signals of satisfaction or dissatisfaction, prioritize issues based on emotional urgency, tailor your responses to match customer emotion. I hope you found this walkthrough valuable for enhancing your customer feedback analysis. Remember, in customer service, it's not just what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. You can find the link to the quick start in the description below. And if you build this solution or have questions, let us know down in the comments. Like and subscribe to stay connected for future videos. Until next time, happy building.